Hello, my friends, and welcome to Five for the Future for this week, the week of April 1st. Let's jump into the five topics that stood out to me recently as signals of change that can impact your small business. I'll summarize the stories and share why you should care. Q1 concerns. Welcome to the start of Q2. What does the rest of 2024 have in store for us? Let's take a look at some of the Q1 wrap up reports to help us prepare. First, supply chain issues are top of mind for the select few companies whose products are still sitting on the containers of the cargo ship Dolly, the one that caused the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. And of course, for any other companies who depend on the port of Baltimore as part of their supply chain. Welcome to 2020 all over again? Well, maybe just a few weeks of 2020. In more positive news, over one quarter of CEOs surveyed by Fortune in February are optimistic about the economy, up from just 7% six months ago. And less than one quarter are pessimistic, down from nearly half last survey. The remaining one half of CEOs are decidedly neutral about the economy. In a side note, over half of these CEOs said they were using generative AI to make their company more efficient, a jump of over 15 percentage points from October. The top three concerns of CEOs from this survey? Geopolitical instability, including the upcoming presidential election, regulation, and inflation. A separate survey was recently released on what CEOs talked about in Q1 2024 as compared to Q4 2023. The top three topics from this survey, AI, sustainability, and elections. Topics seeing a decline this quarter, recession, war, and chat GPT. So what's this mean for you and your small business? As small business owners, we don't really have the ability to control or likely even influence the economy. Instead, we really just need to learn to roll with it. Beyond the economy, the other issues of concern by CEOs include the election, geopolitical instability, regulation, sustainability, and AI. I would point out that we don't have much control over many of these issues, but paying attention to them and trying to be prepared for worst case and best case scenarios might be a good exercise. Play the what if game with different election results or potential regulations related to climate change and sustainability. Will you be prepared for giant tariffs? or more regulations on carbon emissions. Try to be at least a little proactive, says this futurist. What might the future look like? This is part of the fun of being a futures thinker. There is no one path that the future will follow, but instead of throwing our arms up in frustration, spend some time running through the different scenarios, just as I mentioned. What does a positive future for your company look like in each different scenario? What can you do now to improve your odds of a good outcome? For now, imagine a future where you and your business Work to be more proactive than reactive, and consider that to be one of your competitive advantages. I hope these five topics and my take on them get you thinking about how these signals of change could ultimately impact your small business. Join me again in two weeks, and thanks for watching.